Okay, so I had two bars on here. Let's see how much it takes to fill it up. Two doll hairs. What is up, YouTube? What is up, Blue What's up, every fuck everybody else? I still got some residual cough from my sore th from my recent illness. Oh God, I had a sore throat. <laughs> it wasn't like life-threatening. <laughs> Didn't even feel like it. No, I'm a, I'm a I'm a trooper. <laughs> All right, so I got something I want to talk to you all about. I tried to do a vlog on this while I was sick last week, and well, let's just say it didn't turn out all that great. <coughs> Motorcycle Safety Foundation. So it's a fantastic thing. It's a wonderful idea, and it's a wonderful course. It's very in insightful, very uh, preparatory. Would that be a good verb or whatever? It helps prepare riders for most of what they will encounter on the roads. A slow ride so they don't have to put their feet down so much. A slalom, figure eight stuff, avert, avoiding obstacles. Like last minute, like a, 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 once you approach certain th this set of cones, you have to go left or right, you have to choose. And it teaches you how to prepare for that. Now it doesn't completely prepare you for the real world and whatnot, but it does prepare you for quite a bit. And it, it helps get you in the, the, the right mindset. Motorcycle Safety Foundation, if you have never ridden before and you want to get into it, you don't have a bike, but you want to start to learn to ride, that is a fantastic course to take. Because, you know, they do have ones where they'll rent you like a little 250 or something. Like I think one, one guy said he went through and they had like little Ninja 250s. One course they had like Rebels and Viragos. Uh, Yamahas and Hondas and uh, dun, dun. wow that's actually a pretty good sight but then you know and then there of course you know, like when I took mine I had my my first bike which was a 93 Yamaha FZR 600 and I've been riding for four days four days most of the people in the course with me have been riding for you know years but the newest rider besides me had been riding for like four years or something. My favorite part of the course is the slow ride because I always like challenging myself. On the Grom, I have actually stopped for about two seconds without putting my feet down. Oh, it was fun. I was sitting there, I was like, do 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 do. I wasn't like wobbling or nothing. I just, I just stopped. I was like, boop, stop, and then go. I was like, holy shit. I'm not in a slipstream anymore. I'm not going to be able to pass. Now, fuck you. Yee. It's working! I want to get up on there. So, my favorite, like I said, my favorite part's the slow ride. And when I went for my turn, the, the instructor told me, he says, when the person in front of you, and he told everybody else the same thing, he said, God damn, bumps. When he told, he told everybody, he says, when the person in front of you gets halfway through, then you can proceed to go, you know, then, then you know, hit the gas. Hey, watch where you're going there, pal. You know, the person in front of me gets halfway through. I start to go, and now I'm going as slow as I can. I'm taking this challenge as far as I can get, as far as I can take it. And, I mean, I'm legitimately, the speedometer is not moving. I am, like, wobbling. I'm, I'm going really slow. I mean, like this. Like, do 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 I'm just using the clutch. It never did hit the throttle that much. I'm like feathering the clutch to, you know, go through this slow ride. The next thing you know, I see somebody walk up to my left, and I'm like, oh, hi. I didn't stop. I kept going. And it's the instructor. <coughs> and he says, can you uh, pick up your speed? Hold on. Hold on. And as I look in my rear view, I see two other people. One of them had been riding for like, I don't know, eight years or so, seven years. And the other one had been riding for 12, 12 or 13 years. And he was actually my, one of my old first sergeants. <laughs> so I look back, I'm like, sorry, Top. <laughs> it's so funny. And I was like, I'm not going to get gigged for this. They're not going to get gigged for it, are they? Because they're like right behind me, stopped because I had gotten halfway. And then before I could get four-fifths of the way, they, they caught up. <laughs> You know, they're on cruisers and stuff, which, I mean, I can balance cruisers, sport bikes, and this, <laughs> the Grom, obviously. I can balance any bike. Any bike is balanceable. They're, there's not, they're just a little harder, you know, if they're heavier. 
Yeah, this is my first time wearing my old Scorpion helmet in a while. I should name my helmets. So when I went through the course, I only got gigged on one thing. You ran a red light, but I only got gigged on one thing, and that was when I did my figure eights. I come in too tight and uh, had to put my foot down, keep me from falling. It was no big deal. I passed the written test, flying colors. I mean, hell, when I went to take my driving test, now I took my driving test in uh, Kansas, and when I took it, I had done like one thing, and then I got to the slow ride. It took so long, the dude told me, he says, he says, damn it, you get through this, you fucking pass. I ain't got all day. I do my best wheelies whenever I'm not supposed to. And I, and I fully support anybody's decision to go take it, and I highly recommend everybody go do it. It is an amazing thing, and it's well worth it. I don't think it's all that expensive. I think it's like 100 bucks or 200 bucks, something like that. Some crazy stupid low number for what it is. Not only is it cheap, you get a, an insurance discount. So let's see if we can do some Hoonigan stuff on the way home. That was interesting, dick. Admittedly, I was following a little close, but because this dumbass in his big ass truck was swinging out wild like he's got a fucking trailer. Oh yeah, I see he's staring at me. Do my fender lights work anymore? <gasps> they do. Oh, you're so boring. And tuck. I'd like to see Mr. Yukon do that. So, are you like... Really? I don't know if he's coming out or not. And he's jumping the curb. And then, as soon as I close my visor, it's like... Fucking red light. How's it going? <laughs> he was like looking hardcore. I think he's looking for my license plate or something. Which, uh... Ironically enough, I've got the same license plate as you on my car. Fucking people! Tie it down better and you'll be able to take a fucking turn! Full tuck! Speed run! Oh shit, we got 61, boys! 62! Shit! 63! 62! 63, 62, 63! More tuck. Equals more speed. Ah, oh, fucking traffic. Stop texting! Hang your phone up! Ooh, big truck. Do it. Ah. Oh. They should go. She's picking pick, pick the bogeys. What the fuck? She had like vampire mouth. Like, <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Taking a bath in your car or something? Sado. That ratty ass car has got a big ass system in it because, you know, priorities. Yeah, I think ruckuses are the only scooters that I'll probably wave at because. All the rest of them just get scooters so that they can ride on two wheels without the endorsement. People on ruckuses have plans. Like, I, don't, I haven't seen very many ruckuses without some kind of modification. What the fuck is going on here? Why are people not going? There's a green light up there. Wow, that white car there just blocked traffic. That white car blocked traffic. Because they're fucking stupid. Selfish people. Uh. Alrighty then. So that's gonna bring it to the end of this video. It's gonna conclude it. So I appreciate everybody watching. Gonna let some people pass. So I can practice my woolies. I had this need to lean forward. I don't know why, I always want to lean forward. Appreciate you guys watching, appreciate all the love and support. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out, and I will see you all in the next video.